in this video we are going to talk about retained placenta there are two types of retained placenta available for example first one is simple adherent placenta that means the placenta is adhered to the uterus because of uterine contractions are not enough to get it separated this is the most common cause of retention of placenta in routine obstetric practice second one is morbidly adherent placenta in this kind of placentas the placenta is really attached to the myometrium and it is morbidly attached whenever you try to remove the placenta you actually encroaching the wall of the uterus very uterus and it will lead to a, a very 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 dangerous postpartum hemorrhage so placenta accreta means the placenta is attached to the myometrium superficial increta means myometrium is involved deep myometrium is involved and the percreta means full thickness of myometrium and sometimes even serosa also attached to the placenta this is placenta percreta now i will uh, tell you the very basic concept why placenta attaches morbidly to the myometrium the only membrane between myometrium and placenta is endometrium that is called decidua basalis while we have a pregnancy this decidua basalis is the very important separator of the placenta and the myometrium particularly into the decidua basalis we have membranes like nitabuts membrane present from which the placenta is separated so whenever this endometrium or decidua basalis thickness is decreased or it is a weak then the placental villi will go and growth into the myometrium and this will result in morbidly adherent placenta for example if we have low lying placenta placenta previa in low lower part of the uterus the endometrium is not well formed as it formed in upper part so it is thin there if we have previous cesarean scar then at that particular scar we don't have the endometrium very good involved if we have done deep curettage then also we lose the endometrium with the age the endometrium becomes thin and that is also a reason of increased incidence of adherent placenta in age more than 35 if there is a multiparity then also continuously the endometrium getting thin so why we have a higher increase uh, incidence of placenta adherent now how we diagnose this in most of the time we diagnose the placenta adhesion at the time of delivery most of the time but sometimes yes we diagnose it via usg in usg what we see is we see absent sub placental sub lucent zone sub placental means below placenta and this is myometrium this is my friends myometrium this is placenta what we should have here is abs uh, a sonolucent zone and that sonolucent zones is what it is the thin endometrium we don't have this thing into the adherent placenta 
We don't have this thing. Irregular vascular sinuses on top of the study. The blood vessels are just here, very, very communicative. And you can see this blood vessel via colored Doppler, like this. This kind of picture you get. What is the complication? The very much complication is postpartum hemorrhage. If the morbid adherent placenta not already diagnosed before the time of delivery, then what we do? First of all, we go for the main common reason, most common reason of retention of placenta, and that is what uterine tone is not well established. So what we do? We de we give oxytocin. We give oxytocin control core traction for, for 30 minutes, around 30 minutes. If the bleeding is not very very there, then we can attempt to remove the placenta with this thing oxytocin and control core traction if we don't succeed with this thing then what we do is manual removal placenta we can try manual removal placenta but this MRP is done in the operation theater under general anesthesia and if this MRP is even not successful and bleeding continues we don't have any option rather than hysterectomy there is a conservative approach in which the placenta is left behind and uh, just doing serial USGs and giving antibiotics and all these things to give them autolysis but most of the time this this pathway is not followed instead hysterectomy is done directly in case of morbidly adherent placenta thank you for listening